The search for life on Mars. What are we about to discover? Did you know that Mars was once a planet with rivers, lakes, and perhaps even oceans? And that today, it hides secrets beneath its red sands that could forever change the way we view life in the universe? In this video, we will explore questions that can keep anyone awake at night. What happened to Mars water? Could a simple Martian microbe rewrite all of human history? And the most intriguing question of all, what if life on Mars is entirely different from anything we know on Earth? Get ready to discover how rovers like Perseverance are working tirelessly to uncover these mysteries, flying where we've never been before with the first helicopter on another planet. And it doesn't stop there. Upcoming missions plan to bring Mars samples back to Earth. Could we find signs of past life? If all this isn't exciting enough, we'll discuss the impact of finding life on Mars, how it could revolutionize science, shake our beliefs, and even change how we view our place in the cosmos. Don't blink, because you're about to embark on a journey that could lead us to the greatest discovery of all time. Are we alone in the universe? Or does Mars hold the answers we've been searching for? Subscribe and stay tuned until the end to discover the most fascinating science behind Mars and the search for extraterrestrial life. The exploration of Mars. A fascinating journey. The exploration of Mars began long before we had the technology to reach it. Since the first telescopes, Mars has fascinated astronomers who saw the famous Martian lines, mistakenly interpreted as canals built by intelligent civilizations. This idea sparked global curiosity and fueled early attempts to explore the planet. During the space race of the 20th century, Mars became a priority. The Mariner missions in the 1960s and 1970s were the first to send images of the planet, revealing a desolate and inhospitable landscape, but one still full of mysteries. The Viking mission in 1976 was a milestone. For the first time, a spacecraft landed softly on Mars' surface and conducted experiments to detect signs of life. Although the results were inconclusive, they fueled scientific curiosity for decades. Now imagine this. Every step brought us closer to answering the question that has intrigued humanity for centuries. Are we alone in the universe? And the more we discover about Mars, the more intriguing it becomes. Today, missions like the Perseverance rover continue to unravel the secrets of the Red Planet while scientists worldwide eagerly await data that could change everything we know about life beyond Earth. Is there water on Mars? Water is essential for life as we know it, and the search for it on Mars has been one of the primary missions of scientists and space explorers. In the past, Mars was very different from the cold, arid desert we know today. Evidence collected by rovers and probes indicates that billions of years ago, rivers, lakes, and possibly even oceans covered its surface. The Curiosity and Perseverance rovers have found minerals that can only form in the presence of liquid water, confirming that Mars once had habitable conditions. Moreover, satellite images have shown geological structures resembling riverbeds and deltas, suggesting the planet had an active hydrological cycle in the past. And here's the most fascinating discovery. In 2018, scientists detected signs of a subsurface lake of salty water near Mars' south pole. If liquid water still exists on Mars, even in small amounts and isolated locations, the chances of microbial life increase significantly. After all, if extremophiles can survive in Earth's harsh environments, such as subglacial lakes in Antarctica, why couldn't they survive on Mars? The question remains, are we just one excavation away from definitive evidence that Mars is still habitable? What are the conditions for life on the Red Planet? If Mars once had liquid water, why did it become the frozen desert we see today? The answer lies in its atmosphere. 
Mars has an extremely thin atmosphere, composed mainly of carbon dioxide with less than 1% of the density of Earth's atmosphere. This means the planet cannot retain heat, making its surface extremely cold, with temperatures dropping to 125 degrees in some regions. Additionally, cosmic and solar radiation is a significant obstacle. Unlike Earth, Mars lacks a global magnetic field to shield its surface from this radiation, creating a hostile environment for any form of life, especially complex organisms. But here's the twist. Even in these inhospitable conditions, there is hope. On Earth, life forms known as extremophiles thrive in environments once thought impossible, such as extreme deserts, acidic lakes, and hydrothermal vents at the ocean's depths. Mars, with its ancient reservoirs of water and essential minerals, could have been a refuge for primitive microbes. So, if life found a way to emerge on Earth in such extreme environments, could it also have found a way to thrive on Mars? The role of robots in the search for life. Robots play a vital role in Mars exploration, acting as our eyes, ears, and in many cases, hands and minds on the Red Planet. They are designed to withstand Mars' extreme conditions and perform complex tasks that are currently impossible for humans. Since the arrival of Sojourner, the first Martian rover in 1997, to the more advanced rovers like Curiosity and Perseverance, each mission has brought us closer to answering the intriguing question, has Mars ever hosted life? Sojourner was a pioneer, proving it was possible to operate a vehicle on Mars and transmit data back to Earth. Since then, rovers have advanced significantly. Launched in 2012, Curiosity brought sophisticated tools to analyze soil and rock chemistry, helping to discover that Mars once had conditions favorable for microbial life. But Perseverance, launched in 2020, has set an even higher standard. Equipped with state-of-the-art instruments, it can detect organic compounds and collect Martian soil samples to be stored for future return missions to Earth. These samples might contain concrete evidence of past life, such as biosignatures or microscopic fossils. Another groundbreaking addition is Ingenuity, a small helicopter accompanying Perseverance. Ingenuity is the first aerial vehicle to fly on another planet, demonstrating the feasibility of using drones to explore areas inaccessible to rovers, such as caves, deep canyons, and steep slopes. Imagine this, a tiny helicopter silently flying over Mars' surface, capturing images and collecting data from places that could hold crucial clues about the existence of life. With every new mission, robots become more sophisticated, incorporating artificial intelligence that allows autonomous decision-making. This is essential since the distance between Earth and Mars means command signals take about 20 minutes to arrive. While we here on Earth carefully plan every move, these robots work tirelessly millions of kilometers away, investigating soil, analyzing samples, and sending back data that could change everything we know about our place in the universe. But the big question remains, what will they find? Are we one revolutionary discovery away from proving that we are not alone? These robots are the first explorers on a journey that could rewrite human history, and each small step they take on Mars is a giant leap for science and the search for life beyond Earth. Astrobiology and biosignatures, what are we looking for? Astrobiology is the science that seeks to understand life in the universe, and one of its main goals is identifying biosignatures, chemical, physical, or biological evidence that indicates the presence, past, or present of life. On Mars, these biosignatures can take many forms, organic compounds, specific isotope patterns, or even microscopic fossils preserved in ancient rocks. The search for these clues is like solving a cosmic puzzle, where each piece reveals more about the possibility of life beyond Earth. One of the most intriguing examples of this search is methane, 
On Earth, a significant portion of atmospheric methane is produced by living organisms, such as microbes in soil or the digestive systems of animals. Methane has also been detected on Mars, but its seasonal variations have puzzled scientists. What is producing this gas? Could it be microbial life underground, similar to extremophiles thriving in extreme environments on Earth? Or could it result from an unknown geological process, like the interaction between water and underground rocks? Both possibilities are fascinating and open doors to further study. In addition, scientists look for patterns that cannot be explained by purely geological processes. For example, certain minerals, such as carbonates, can form in watery environments that favor life. Complex organic compounds, the building blocks of life as we know it, are also prime targets. If found on Mars, they could indicate that the planet once had conditions conducive to supporting living organisms. Technology plays a fundamental role in this search. Instruments like Sherlock on the Perseverance rover can detect organic compounds and analyze their chemical composition in detail. This data can help identify molecules that point to the presence of life or, at the very least, habitable conditions in the past. The beauty of science lies in its ability to generate new questions from each answer. Finding an unequivocal biosignature would be a historic milestone, but it would also lead to deeper questions. What was the nature of this life? How did it arise? Could it have spread to other planets? Such a discovery would not only usher in a new era of space exploration, but also force us to reconsider our place in the universe. After all, if life can emerge on Mars, how many other worlds could harbor living beings waiting to be discovered? Future missions and plans for human exploration. What comes after robotic missions? The ambitious answer, humans on Mars. Both NASA and private companies like SpaceX are developing plans to send people to the red planet. SpaceX, led by Elon Musk, has already unveiled the Starship rocket intended to be the primary vehicle for colonizing Mars. But before that, missions to bring samples back to Earth are in the works. These fragments of Mars may contain crucial answers about the existence of life and help pave the way for manned missions. However, the challenges are immense, protecting astronauts from radiation, ensuring sufficient supplies and, of course, the logistics of returning home. If we can overcome these obstacles, we would be entering a new era in human history, becoming an interplanetary species. What would discovering life on Mars mean? Imagine for a moment a definitive discovery of life on Mars, even if it were just a primitive microbe. Such a finding would shake the foundations of our understanding of life and the universe. It would confirm something extraordinary. Life is not exclusive to Earth. Given the right environment, it can emerge in different places, radically altering our perception of our place in the cosmos. Science would undergo a revolution. Studies on the origin and evolution of life would be redefined, leading us to explore whether life on Mars shares the same biochemistry as terrestrial life or follows a completely different path. If it were DNA-based, it might suggest a common link between Earth and Mars, possibly due to the exchange of materials via meteorites. On the other hand, if it were entirely alien, it would prove that life can arise in ways we cannot yet imagine. Philosophically, this discovery would raise profound questions. What does it truly mean to be alive? If life can arise on Mars, an environment that seems inhospitable today, how many other worlds out there could harbor living beings? The icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn, like Europa and Enceladus, with their subsurface oceans, could be the next targets. Beyond our solar system, there are thousands of exoplanets orbiting distant stars, some in habitable zones. Mars would just be the beginning of a much larger search. Culturally and religiously, the implications would be equally transformative. 
Many religious traditions could be challenged, while others might see this discovery as an expansion of understanding about creation and divinity. Humanity would be forced to reconsider the idea of exclusivity and centrality in the universe. Perhaps the most significant impact would be on how we view ourselves. Knowing that life can arise elsewhere would inspire us to unite as a species, to explore and protect both our planet and others. Yet, it also raises an uncomfortable question. Are we ready for this revelation? Discovering life on Mars would be a monumental milestone, but it would also confront us with the reality that we may not be as special as we believe, and that in itself is reason enough to continue the search, to understand, explore, and embrace the vastness of a universe full of possibilities yet to be revealed.